Hello there everybody, how's it going? I'm going on Duty Gods Commentary for today, and today I'm playing Cassidin in the mid lane. So, what are my thoughts on Cassidin? What do I what do I think of him? Well we'll get to that. But first, I mean to say the enemy teams here. We have Cassidin mid, Draven AD carry, Bloodscrank support, Rangar tap, Volibear jungle, Vayne AD carry for them, Azir mid, Vi jungle, Nar top, and Bard support. So, I'm just gonna immediately, uh, you know, get into it. Your HP all looks like half empty. Well, it looks just fine to me, buddy. I'm sure you're just tripping out. It's all good. So I tried recording about three casting games now. My voice is all is almost dead, as is emphasized right here. But what's well, okay? We're gonna try one more time. And I have to say, my overall impression of Cassidy is I actually haven't. I mean, I've only just started playing him a little bit because, for the, because of the recording, because of the visual update. And he definitely looks a lot better. His all attack animation actually looks like he's swinging his blade now instead of swine a fly out of the air. But in terms of like, you know, his actual gameplay and such, he really just feels weak. And he feels, he just feels too weak. Like, I really don't know why Riot thought he should be nerfed, because everyone pretty much knows they nerfed his ult range, which I don't know why. <laughs> It's like the one thing he had going for him, which was a lot of mobility and, you know, s s uh, slow with his E and shield, and he's kind of lost a lot of that with that nerf, but, I don't know, he still has potential, I can definitely see it within him, but it's very hard to make the potential happen. I am just going to say right away, I'm not going to be going for the tier, because I have tried the build with the Archangels and the Rod, I don't like it, you might be saying, well, your ult scales with mana. Yes, your ult may scale with mana, but the scaling on it is so ridiculously low that the actual damage doesn't really help at all. So you should only really go for Archangels if you want it for the um the thingy. If you if you, you should only really go for Arc. I misclicked my first null sphere. You should only really go for the Archangels if you want to be able to use your ult a lot more with the thousand mana that the Archangels will give you. But you probably shouldn't get Archangels if you're you know trying to go it for the damage. And but I mean it's still it's still a viable build for Kasten. But you know just don't expect it. I don't, wouldn't. It's just not what I prefer. You know that's just all I'm saying. I felt like I've repeated I've repeated that sentence quite a lot, but hey, it's all good. And I'm against Nazir, which, well, is going to be a complete pain, but you know that's Nazir in a nutshell. I'm going to go and use my null sphere to get that CS. We will probably be using our Q to get a lot of CS this game. He did hit level two before us as well, so you know that's a bit of a shame. Um, that soldier will go away. I'm going to null sphere that one, and I'll be my you know nice level two right there. I was going to pop a crystalline flask and. Just try to get some as much CS as we can. Let's go and queue that one. And then go up and quickly W that one so we don't take too much poke. We did take a Q and an auto attack from the soldier to the face, which isn't all that bad considering it's Nazir. And just try to do as best as we can in the CS department, because this of course not a very good matchup for me. Which I mean yeah he does magic damage, but it's hard to actually get in range to uh, you know, do the damage that I or do the damage I want to do and get CS because magic shield isn't going to be very helpful if I can't actually get close enough to him to where you know I can actually apply the magic shield. So let's see, gain some CS. We're actually beating him in CS right now because he's focusing a lot on poking. You know, undoubtedly that won't last, but you know, for the, for the time it's a short it's a short term short term good sign is bit is it you know what I'm getting at. It's going to build a mill spirit. His face is taking a decent amount of damage actually. So there's that. He does, but to be fair, he hasn't used any of his potions either. But on an, another thing we we can point out is the fact that he, we um have yet. Or what, what am I going for? I forgot what I was gonna say. I lost my train of thought. Oh God. Oh yeah, he's running low on mana. Basically, that's what I was getting at. So and the fact that I have crystalline flask, you know, kind of helps me. The fact that he's used all his mana, and I still have a decent amount of health I can live off of. He's an he is an ignite at Azir, which Azir is one of those champions where a lot make a lot go heal and a lot go ignite. So that's a thing. It's going to use the Force Pulse right there and do some damage to him. And boop, use another thing right there. We're both fairly low on health. He has a second potion ticking. Because I did get a mana potion instead of another health potion. Which I'm kind of regretting, but at the same time I'm also really low on mana. So let's see. Boop, if I had my ultimate, maybe I can do something right now because of how low he is. So let's see. Um, boop, he did hit me right there. Um, really low. I don't, because again, he has Ignite. Oh, there's a Q he just used. That'd be more of his mana. I'm going to null speed because I'm pretty sure I would have missed it otherwise. And auto attack. Ah, oh, I messed it up. Oh, I can still get two of these. So it looks like he is going to go back now. So I'm just going to try to push this wave and then leave. 
get this minion right here. Auto attack this one a few times. Does have does make CS in a bit easy with casting compared to blah, 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 because uh, his W's passive does give magic damage, which you know is very nice. I approve. I approve of it. Get that and oh no. I really don't want to go back without having enough gold for my catalyst. I'm only a hundred away, which is very annoying. So I'm gonna try to quickly get it here. But he's gonna make it far too risky to get one more CS, so I'm just gonna have to wait, wait for gold. So we're just gonna go back and sell our health, sell our mana potion need be, so we can get that catalyst. He is actually going to tier build, which is, you know, that's interesting. So let's go ahead and sell this and just wait the purple we have gold. So you some might say that I should go for the tier build because, you know, the fact that he's going tier means he's not as aggressive as well, but Again, I've tried the tier ball multiple times, and I just feel it's better not... I just like it better not to get it. Because you're so weak for so long of the game with going for the tier. While if you just go Rod and then rush something like a Rabdolins right afterwards, you'll be a lot stronger a lot quicker. But hey, it all comes down to personal preference. I wouldn't say it is an objective thing that's like the best. It's very much a thing. Oh, I could have actually null spear that. I'm going to miss that as well. Oh no. Alright, I'm going to ping... Okay, he is in fact down there. So let's go and auto attack that one and another blade that one. I can't necessarily push very, you know, fast as casting, but I do have my whiff rocking now, which is good. And there is a large minion wave, so we will undoubtedly miss some of these. Let's try to auto attack most of them, which you were 16. So far we got that one. We got ah, oh, we missed that one. I'm just gonna another blade to ensure I get that one. Okay. Where are you, Azir? You're not here. This this concerns me, Azir. I'm kind of I feel I feel empty inside. There you are. Hey, you're our bone area area. Now, you kind of, you kind of misspelled error there, buddy. Oh, hello there, friend. How you doing? I'm just going to riff walk out to make sure I don't die. She may have been trying to hit me in, like, the middle of it, but thankfully that was not the case. Let's see. He's going to do a little bit of damage there and use a force pulse. There we go. Nice little trade right there. He's going to really try to get, uh, you know, a trade back off on me, but in all honesty, it's not really all that worth it for him because he's a, he uses a lot more mana to trade with me because his tier isn't really doing a whole lot for him as of now. So I do have kind of a lead on him in that regard. He's going to try to attack this man a little bit so we, they don't go into the turret. And he's going to do some damage to me there. He's going to go into space and shoot a null spear. Okay, is he going to cue me? No, not yet. He's he's holding his breath. Ah, stab it. He's still really annoying. <laughs> I mean, he's a lot weaker than I think he would be just because he went for the tier, but, you know, it's going to help him in the long run. Our team is doing pretty well, though, so, you know, that's a plus side. Let's see, get that minion. How are we doing CS? We're actually beating him in CS by 14, so that's kind of surprising. Generally, Kassin should never be winning in CS because of the fact that he's a melee, he CSs via melee attacks, so that's kind of an interesting thing. And there is also a bully bear relatively close. So I'm actually gonna, you know, go in on him here and see what we can do. There's the chilling smite. I'm gonna go ahead and kinda still run this side. So let's see. Oh, there's the Vi. There's the... Okay, he went over there. Let's see if maybe we can do some damage here. And there's the kill. Oh! Oh, come on. Riff, please. Alright, we can live. Alright, so we got the Azir. Oh no, the entire bot, the entire enemy team is there. Oh, but the Draven ultimate. Maybe. Um... That's another kill. Go get him, buddy. All oh, the heal. The heal. Go, buddy. Go. Uh, uh, yes, okay. <laughs> Barely gain the damage needed. Very clutch there, but thankfully we're able to accomplish it. And I like Rengar's build he has going there. That's pretty interesting. So, there's a lot of different ways that could have gone. I could have just tried helping Volibear with the Vi, but I know that I wouldn't really have enough damage. I could have maybe have saved him. But I knew that I couldn't, have been, couldn't just ensure a kill with the Azir, so I decided to go for that path instead. And now I'm 3-0, so that's pretty good. I can get my rod all ready. Get a health potion, and that will be pretty darn good for me. And even the blue buff, which won't last very long. No, but hey, you know, it's something. And I'm glad the Rengar with his, you know, giant bundle of swords build is working out as planned. Ah, Rengar, I think you missed that CS. Unless he didn't miss it. But I think he didn't miss it. Okay, yep, he's going for the tier and then a Namakon, so he wants he wants to be able to spam those soldiers quite a lot, which, you know, if he wants to do that, then that's all good. So, looks like Bully Bear is attacking this fella. Let's see if maybe we can get a kill here, unless eh, he got it. <laughs> he doesn't even need my help, jeez. Bully Bear's absolutely destroyed him. I think he had red buff, and that was pretty much all I needed, yep. 
Maybe as he was, uh, he was on cooldown or he got flipped in the middle of the E, which would be rather frustrating. So maybe that's what happened. I don't know. Also, there appears to be a Vi here, which I'm not honestly too afraid of her right now. She's... Okay, well, I changed my mind. That was a pretty spooky laugh, I'm going to be honest. I'm just going to go do a little bit of dancing here, and I don't even care if I'm missing that CS. As long as, as long as I have a good time with this here Vi, I'm good. Let's see, throw a little spirit at her face. She absorbed most of it with her passive, which is, you know, I, I understand. I can accept this. Go and do some more damage there. And another Null Spear in her face. That's doing a lot of damage. Unlikely I'm going to be able to kill her without my Ignite. But, you know, this will probably cause her to go back once the Azir does show up. That's another blade. That Vulgar is going to gain some more good ganks up. Let's go and put a Crystalline Flash to have ourselves out of position. And maybe we can get this Gnar up here. We're finally roaming a bit late. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's going to be gone by the time we get there. But I'm going to try. Because if I if I arrive quick enough... Yeah, if I but if I arrive quick enough... Yeah, I think he went another bush. So I went a bit too late. So that's a shame. I'm just going to go and go back and then... Go back to my lane via boots. If I did... I was assuming he... Or I was not assuming, but hoping he was recalling that last bush there. Because then I probably could have barely got him in time. But sadly, that's not the case. Which is all good. So let's see, Draven. Let's see, Draven's 103, so he's doing very well for himself. Overall, our entire team's doing fairly well for themselves, which is very good. I will probably go for Rabadon's next. I normally like to go Zonia's after Rod with Kassadin, though a lot of it depends on the enemy team. I think, and the that because, I don't know, actually because of the Violt, I may go Zonia still, because then I can cancel the Violt with that, because she's the one person who can really just go on me and lock me down very easily with that, though. At the same time, I find unlikely she's going to prioritize me if an actual team fight breaks out. So, but, you know, yeah, we'll, we'll see if the time comes. So our next, on our next back, if we can only afford, like, if we can't afford a rod, then maybe then we'll, I mean, we're going to get a rod regardless, so let's just hope we can afford a rod, and then, you know, ha not have this discussion. Hello there, Azir. I think he's very aware of the fact that he cannot protect this turret. There's also a Vi on the loose. Oh, and the flash pull will completely fail. You silly person, you. Okay, but a force pulse right there. Do a lot of nice base damage. And boop. One thing one thing um, people don't seem to know about Kassin and the reason a lot of people Oh god, the pull! Uh, I'll, I'll I'll hold on, I'll try to come back to what I was saying soon. Triple kill for the volley bear. Oh, oh, but the, the vein, the vein, oh my god, this monster, what are you doing? Okay, well, this game's going fairly well. <laughs> so, one thing just, just to point out, because I think this game is going to, you know, end up going fairly well, is Cassidy's base damage on his abilities are pretty low. Like, his Q max does 170. That's not very good. And even with a lot of scaling... Um, that it'll do like a maximum, it'll do like around 400 with like three items, which arguably should be kind of, you know, decently higher. But that is debatable. That's just one reason that makes him even even weaker in the early game. So that's just something I feel it's just to be pointed out. But, you know, that's another problem with maybe like going for the tier because his base, his base damage on his abilities are so low that, you know, it makes it even less tempting to, you know, go some things that won't give you AP because your base damage isn't really going to help you a whole lot. So let's see, they are pretty darn low right now. But I'm also pretty low on health myself. And following that is probably a bad idea, so I'm just going to kind of look at it. And, how? no, wow. How could you not? That's very rude of you, I'm going to be honest. There's a slight chance one of them are doing dragon, but I find that unlikely considering how close we are to the dragon area. Yep, it is in fact up. We can probably do it right now. The bard does seem to be kind of aware. Oh, oh and the Blitzcrank pull. The god himself. That'll be a kill off on the Gnar. And where are you, bard? You over here, buddy? Oh, what the? What the hell? What the heck is this guy doing? Let's go and just see if maybe we can kill him. Come on. Oh, no. Oh, but the, the bear. The bear and the portal kill steal. Very good. Oh, maybe we can get another one. Uh, but is Vi going to try to go on me? No. Alright. That is one thing Kassin sells a strength of. He's very good at just going in, roaming, and picking up kills. But, again, Kassin's one of those champions where it's so easy to compare, and compare him to other people. Like, me, if I with the right nerfed him when there's people like Xerath and Nili running rampant. And, like, you compare, him to an, you compare him to other mages, he's just not as superior. You compare him to assassins, 
he's just not superior. Like, it's very easy to compare him to Katarina and just say, well, Katarina is just better. The one thing Cass and Say does have going for him is just, you know, he's a good bounce and one of the only champions that's a decent bounce, kind of like Ari, between a mage and a assassin. But I just don't feel he's strong enough in either of those roles to really be con to really be viable in the current meta. But again, like I'm doing pretty well. A lot of it is because you know my team's also doing pretty well, and that's why I'm trying. You know, I'm trying to show that he does still have that potential. I just don't think he has enough potential. So take with take with it with what you will. He's definitely a fun champion if you do well with him, but you know it can definitely be a bit hard. So let's see, are you guys okay? There's a wild Gnar that might, you know, be killing this Blitzcrank soon. Oh, no, he's going to be jumping the other way and trying to get the Draven. I am en route, so maybe we can do something here. It's possible. Oh, there's a Vi. Hello there, Vi. How you doing today? Maybe we can kill you. It's, yep, all oh, the Blitzcrank actually gained the kill. He'll die now, but, you know, he got the kill, so he is that going for him. All right. Hello there, minions. How you doing? I'm gonna, you know, riff walk there so I don't take a lot of damage and try to clear this wave as best as I can, which I will do a fair job of doing. Force Pulse is all I really, you know, can do. So, you know, stop it. Stop with your, like, clearing the wave and stuff. Ow, that hurt. Okay, okay, I, did, I didn't, I mean, I didn't, you didn't need to if you didn't, you know, why? You could have kept attacking it. You, I know, I can't tell you I live the life, but I'm just saying. All the bully bear. They have a very good defensive setup there. The Vayne can queue away, and Azir is already a very defensive mage. Um, oh, that actually did stun me. Let's go and let me move. <laughs> Gosh darn it, please, Nar. Don't, don't smack me upside the head. That's kind of rude, honestly. All right. I kind of want to go back to get my Sorcerer Shoes relatively soon, but they are not giving up on this, you know, mid lane revolution, which kind of makes me upset. I like the better ones just be in the mid lane. I always like it like that, but... It does not seem like they want to be that way, so let's see. I'm gonna I would flash at E him, but I'm pretty sure you know, that wouldn't actually work. I mean, I'm gonna just do that. There we go. That's a decent amount of damage. And hello there, Bard. Are you trying to are you trying to plan something here, buddy? You want you want to come come over here and you know show yourself and maybe we can have a nice talk about politics? Cause you know I know for sure that Cassin's view on the void politics aren't very high. No. Nope. Okay, I'm just gonna go back. Get my sorcerer shoes so I can actually start moving, you know, regularly, all right. You go. Know, see? Look how different it is. I was floating before, but now I'm floating with style, which that's something you just don't, you just don't see every day is floating with style. It's something that, you know, you need to see more often in life. I mean, you know, this, I guess Vokai, as you can say, floats with style, but the gas and just, you know, he, he drives it home a bit more on home base because he plays baseball with his blade. Doesn't always work. Um, okay, Bards for some reason in our jungle getting chimes, I'm guessing. So let's see if we can catch this guy out, unless we should be going mid instead, which probably should be going mid instead. So let's see, maybe we can kind of catch these guys out here. Let's go and riff walk over this wall and do some, di yeah, another nice pull there. And stay up it, use the force pulse on her. And boop, oh no, oh, Bard just saved me. Bard just so saved me. <laughs> Thank you very much, good sir. And I'm gonna nether blade this guy and riff walk to kill him. And oh, I'm alive. Sweet bu bu sweet bugs on s lily pads. I'm alive. All right, that's a pretty nice magical journey there. Oh God! Why is it warded there? Actually, it makes perfect sense because we were just assaulting that turret. Gosh darn it! Bride just ruined my perfect KDA. Now Draven has to die. Draven has 12 assists as well. Gosh, diggity darn it. I was doing so well for myself. It looks like I'm going for Zonia's here. Vi ruined everything. Why did Vi's, Vi committed meat? Oh my god. You can't have committed meat. You can put salami on sandwiches, but you can't just stay with salami on sandwiches. We want some bologna. Or maybe you don't like either of those. You want some bacon. Maybe you just want to put bacon. Counts as a meat. Maybe you want, you know, something a bit more... You know, fest festival. That's festival. I'm gonna trademark that word. It doesn't exist. It sounds like you know. It's like it's like a festival is what that word would mean. I meant to say fancy. Like and I was gonna go with like sirloin or whatever that one. Whatever that's really you know nice meat's called. I probably don't wanna you know take a lot of damage from the ribbon's passive there or not the ribbon vein. You know this same person really. 
Okay, um, Lonely Bear is doing a lot of stuff here, and this will give me a good situation to go in. It's going to use our Null Spear right there, and then another blade right here. Nars doing a lot of AoE damage to us, which is, you know, not going to be enough, sadly. So it's going to be a double kill for me. Nice and easy. 8, 1, and 8. It's it's just, it's tainted. It's tainted by the one death from the Vi. I'm not happy about it. I'm not happy about it at all, but sadly it's going to be something we're going to have to live with. Okay, we're insulting down the mid. We're going to insult down the bot turn, I'm going to assume. They have yet to surrender. They think they have a chance, but they are wrong. The Void the, the void Walker himself. I, I think that's... Oh my god, the Blitzcrank pulls. He's so good at League of Legends. And he's... Yeah, yeah he's going to kill her. There we go. That was that was pretty good. That was pretty good, Blitzcrank. I'm going to give you like a 10 out of 10 for that at least. And, you know, that's all... all oh, almost. Almost. Oh my god, the Volibear. He's insane. He's maybe going to die. No, Volibear's passive is really good. Okay. He's going to be fine then. Oh, jeez, the, the Draven damage. Okay, I'm just going to try to keep throwing Null Spears at them for the time being. Another pull, almost hitting once again. Ugh. Oh, oh, that may not end well. Oh, God, I don't want to be here. Okay, I was able I was able to make it over that wall. Draven will get hit by a giant rock, though. Okay, at least we should have three people have only died on our... Well, I've only died once. Interesting, interesting. Let's go ahead and work on uh, this guy right here, unless Blitzcrank has a bit of a plan. All oh, the Gnar flashing over the wall. I'm not sure if it's really going to work. Let's go ahead and use the Nether Blade in the pass, and then our ultimate to kill him. And Rengar's going to use his ult, then pounce on the Bard, whose you know, eyes are kind of just going to slump in the ground. That's kind of a sad way to go. We honestly probably could maybe do the Dragon, but Vi could very easily just go in and you know smite it and take it from us, and then can, if she's good, can 1v3 us. So probably shouldn't take that chance. We are... We do have our Zonias now, though. Should help us a lot. I would like to go Rabadon's next, but since I won't have the gold for it, I'll go Luden's Echo. And one thing that's actually pretty in interesting about Luden's Echo with Kassadin, and I'm, I'm pretty sure like very few people know this, is your ult does count as movement, which does, you know, help sack it, because it's much like shit, where if you move, it gets stacks, which, you know, isn't really a reason to, hey, get Luden's and Kassadin's amazing, but... I do think to help with the assassin side of Cassidy, Luden's like plus Lichbane will definitely, you know, turn you more into assassin rather than like, you know, Iceborne Frozen Heart or something of that nature. But again, Cassidy can be played in a lot of different ways, and I do think the assassin way is a bit more fun. Though I'd, there are times where I don't even go Lichbane because I, you know, kind of rely on more mage, but if you don't go an odd hit item, then you're pretty much not going assassin at all. So I, you know, I kind of, I just said I like kind of prefer assassin, but I just said afterwards I sometimes go, don't get Lich Bane. So maybe I'm just lying to myself. I don't really know. One day we'll find out though. Okay, I'm gonna assume they just got the red buff. Could probably set up for Baron relatively soon here. Oh, the Azir is rather low. Oh, do they have this ward? The Blitzcrank gonna try get a pull, but will not succeed. My blue is up. I kind of want to get that blue buff. Because I don't know if a Sultine mid lane is going to really work when they have an Azir. Because it's a lot of wave clear. I'm pretty sure we have someone split pushing. There's also a lot of farm down in the bottom. So I'm going to go take care of that. I hope my team is aware that I'm not there. I think they are aware. But they're not They're not acting like it. Our bot turrets go, just went down. Let's go and try to do some damage here. I'm going to go and throw a single ping. And just hope they don't you know try to do anything too crazy here. Because you know what? There are plenty of times where I, I leave and then my team gets caught. It's like, no, guys, you just got to be more defensive. Let's go and, you know, get some objectives here because I don't think assaulting the mid, mid turret is going to work very well. So let's just, you know, kind of work on here. I have giant minion wave. Try to utilize it properly. Um, they're just still, like, hard pushing this wave. So let's just, you know, continuously try to keep pushing this and just hope our team can, uh, you know, kind of keep them at bay there. So there we go. All right. I see Vi, Nar... Okay, the Nars teleporting up here. I gotcha. Do throw a null spirit his face. Throw a full force at him. I took a turret shot, oh god. Okay. Don't know where any of them are. Probably a good idea for me to leave now. Let's see. Oh, hello, Bard. Very, very likely someone else could be in that bush too. You never know. So, so you know, try to just, you know, play it a bit safe. Oh, yep, there's Vayne and Azir. Oh, hello. Is, is someone, someone on route? No, Bard. Bard, where are you? Come come over. Come on. You can't just place it and then leave. That's not how things work. 
Maybe we can like force pulse you in the face and then kind of whip rock out of Yeah, that's gonna be a nice little bit of poke right there. Ooh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh god. Oh god. I'm gonna zone you instantly and then prepare to whip rock this direction. So let's see. Force pulse, flash the one good so we don't get hit by that. And double kill for the Rengar actually. And oh god, Rengar just came and started wrecking everything, so good job on him. Let's go and use the Force Pulse right there and then use the Null Sphere, which won't follow him, but Blitzcrank just casually uses his ultimate. And oh, the Flash to stop the Thanimabob, the Golden God, oh my god, and that will be the ace. That was very well played by Blitzcrank. He flashed in front of the body to make it so her Q would not let him uh, travel. Not entirely sure if that was his intention, but I'm going to assume it was because, you know, he's a car and that's what cars do. You, you block things with cars. And that's what I've learned, at least. I'm just kidding. I, 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 you know, listen, listen. I'm a safe driver, all right? I'm a safe driver. Oh, oh, he did it, he did it again. He died instantly. Oh, oh God, I just realized our bully bear is also, oh, we have two people who are 10 and one. How oh, interesting. All right, um, what's going on here? You guys trying to do something? I, I don't know if it's, uh, you know, it's entirely working, but you know, that's what they want to do. And me and bully bear are still in sync. I, he just needs to get four assists. And then, and only then, we have what we want, so I can probably my loons echo somewhat soon. 300 gold about. Let's see, can I find that much gold lying nearby? It's, okay, I can get the blue buff. That should help me. Not exactly, you know, very strong in, you know, getting the blue buff, because, you know, it's kind of, you know, not being very nice to me. But I should be able to get nice and easy with a null sphere. I'm going to clear it, because that's, you know, these guys get 22 gold. Bip. Hmm, bip. And boop, there we go, okay. 200 more, where can we get 200 more gold? There's the gold, there's the Krugs we can get. I was about to call them the Golems. They're not the Golems though. They're not the Golems. There's a Bard over there. Bard can continue his journey if he wants to. I'll, I won't I won't say no. Bip. Bullinger's gonna be gained. The red buff, the, the ancient bramble back from, you know, way past times. And I still need 100 more. We must find more jungle camps. I know this is very exciting. It's, treat treat this like a choose your own adventure book. You know, pretend like you're the one making making me do decisions. Only the game scripted itself. So you think it's a game, but it's not a game. I know, never happened before. It's going to be a new revolution, revolutionary genre, and there's going to be debates about what's a game, what isn't a game. Uh, oh, 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 oh God, that was going to kill me. That was gonna, that was definitely going to kill me. Let's let's just go back. I, I'm pretty sure I don't want to die to wolves at this point. Probably wouldn't make me feel very good. So instead I'm just going to kind of do this in Silic Crystalline because I'm pretty sure I don't need it. And I, I see that Lich Bane, but I don't I'm, I don't want to get it just yet. I want to get a bit more AP before I actually uh, you know get the Lich Bane. So assuming the game even lasts long enough for me to get a Lich Bane because of course just gain a Baron is you know pretty good. So there you go. As you can see, it adds about 20 stacks of Loon's Echo. So pretty good. Pretty good, I must say. I, I like just, you know, launching purple stuff in my enemies because... You know, Cast and I, 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 he really likes the color purple. He's from the Void. Luin's Echo just enhances that purple experience. So, are we like trying to engage here? I would assume so. I don't think. Oh wait, the Vi got caught out. That's gonna be very good for us. And it looks like they also a lot of them got very low. Oh, and the Flash flip, and more kills in the bank. Let's go and do some damages here. And who is it? Who is? At, at, at. Please, no, stop. Ugh. Okay, okay. There we go. Are we still equal kills? Yes, we're both 12 and 1. We'll, we, me and the Volibear have been in sync, and we will end in sync. So there you guys go. That's a view on how to you know, make cast and very good. 12 and 1. Actually going very well. Which, you know, makes makes me happy. You know, the casting still has that potential. They're going to end the game before we can end it reliably, which makes me sad. If you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like and comment if you wish. Subscribe if you haven't already, because, you know, it made brains of warm... Um, feeling into my heart, the butterflies will rise up in my stomach and start to have a nice little feast. They'll have some chicken noodle soup down there. It'll be great, fantastic experience. But you know, it's kind of awkward. Have insects within you really just you know, I hear them flutter. It kind of makes me awkward. I should probably see a doctor when there's insects inside my stomach. Anyways, have a great day.